Alright, so if we go ahead and put some hydrogen peroxide in our test tubes. I'm going to look for a couple different reactions here. Remember, hydrogen peroxide is H2O2. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of manganese dioxide. Okay. It's uh, this black powder. Okay, so this is a chemical catalyst. And it's chemical, we get it out of a, a jar. Okay, it's simply a chemical. We're actually seeing some of the steam or, or smoke kind of coming out of here. All right. So that's our manganese dioxide. We can see that some sort of chemical reaction is occurring. There's bubbling. You can kind of hear the bubbling. It obviously changed to black because of the, um, the color of the manganese dioxide. There's quite a bit of heat that's being produced. So now what we can do to test for um, trying to figure out maybe what these bubbles are, we can use a, a very common test here. And we can take our splint, and we can put it in there, and the fire comes back. Okay. So we get that fire coming back. Okay. And so if we think about what fire needs, we know it needs oxygen. And we know H2O2 has oxygen atoms in it. So the assumption that we make here is that H2O2 is separating into molecules of water and molecules of oxygen. And the bubbles that we see uh, are the oxygen, and what's left behind is the water. And we can infer that um, this is oxygen that's being released because it relights the splint on fire. Now. Um, we can do the same thing with a biological catalyst. So liver is, uh, this is chicken liver, and this is something that contains a biological catalyst, an enzyme called catalase. And so we can put that in there and we can see these bubbles start to form. Okay. And it's going to keep bubbling and bubbling. And so you know, remember we started out with the same compound, hydrogen peroxide, H2O2, and we added an enzyme, in this case something in the liver, and we can do the exact same thing. I can restart the fire on my splint in those bubbles that are being created. And so the assumption here has to be that the bubbles that are created are oxygen because they catch on fire. Right? So we can again assume that it's the same chemical reaction. Now I just got too much too much of the liquid coming up right now and it just ends up kind of putting this out. can still see some little sparks of light okay as the oxygen ignites so again we can assume that this is the exact same reaction that we've seen between the chemical catalyst and the biological catalyst